Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Sonnet Rack Mac Mini. Now, a lot of you have seen in my previous videos that I'm using Mac Minis. Now I'm using one for to do as, as a router, running PFSense. And I'm going to put the second one down there, and this is going to be replacing an R710 uh, as a VMware server. And the reason for this is simply because of power usage. I mean, these things run so much uh, more uh, efficiently than, than something big like an R710. And granted, I could upgrade to a, a 720 or 730 uh, or, or some other a rack mount server and along those lines with a more modern chip in it. Um, but but I already have these, and I figure you know what this is this will be a good way to go. Uh, all of the VMs and stuff are stored on uh, on my NAS, and over and I can access them or access them from this uh, over iSCSI, and so having internal storage isn't an issue. This has 10 gigabit Ethernet, uh, and so I can access that storage really quickly. Um, and there really, uh, there's not many drawbacks other than maybe having some kind of losing some uh, redundancy and so forth. Um, but like I said, my storage is already redundant because that's hosted on the NAS. So anyway, I decided to buy one of these Rack Mac Minis um, to kind of give give a, a specific place in the rack for these minis to go without just kind of throwing them on a shelf. Um, and the benefit for something like this is that, uh, one, they're kind of locked in a place, they can't go sliding around, something were to happen and, and one one of them drops, then that would, that would be uh, catastrophic. And uh, and I mean, just overall, like they, the, there's also power buttons on the front for this, which make it easier to access and so forth. So anyway, let's, let's uh, open this up and, and see what we got. All right, so right off the bat, let's say they include some instructions here. There's really not a lot to it. Uh, you just kind of shows how to install the Mac Minis and put them in the rack. Uh, as far as here. Looks like everything's in here. So the rack ears are already connected, it looks like. And so there it is. All right. and it looks like they have a USB port on front uh, and a couple of holes here for power. Now venting and so forth happens on the bottom and this this is the model that has, actually has the a larger venting holes for the 2018 Mac Minis, which is one of the ones I have here, so that's why I chose this one. Apparently they had another one um, for if you're if you have an older Mac Mini, you can get the older model, and those uh, those vents are smaller. And I think they also have one that has like a a, a slot for the the DVD drives for the really old models. So that's one way to go. I actually, I mean, I see two screws here. But I'm not exactly sure how to open this up, so I'm going to take a quick glance at this. And it looks like there are two screws on the sides back here that you undo. So let's go ahead and do that. And my screwdriver is too big. I'm going to have to get another one. I'll be back. All right, I'm back with the right screwdriver here. So what I'm noticing here is that there's actually three screws that need to be undone in order to take the top of it off. And this wasn't until I looked at the instructions that I could actually see that, that what was happening here. Um, so let's go ahead and take take the uh, remove the three screws needed to get to the inside. So first, there's one on either side here. All right, there's the second one, and then on the third one's actually underneath, and it's this one screw right here in the middle uh, uh, near the back of the unit. So let's undo that one. Throw that there. And let's see how this looks. So you pull up on it and slide it out. Now the first thing I'm noticing here is that it's nice you have the foam on top of the on top of the unit 
they advertise this that if you're using this in like an audio equipment rack or you're traveling with this, uh, this is what these 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 foam uh, strips will actually hold the minis in place, so they're not going to move around and stuff. And I don't see any reason why. I mean, the the mini would go anywhere if you had it mounted in something like this. Uh, let's take a closer look at what's inside here, and it looks like I mean, there's the two. USB 3 uh, ports and it looks like those just kind of plug into the back of the mini and then you have access from the front and then here you have like there's a there's a spring I don't know if you can see that uh, for, uh, attached to this post and so when you push the power button it it will press uh, lever that towards the power button on the mini itself uh, you'll also notice that there's an extra panel here on this side and that's only if you're if you have uh, one Mac Mini and it basically uh, keeps it from the uh, warm air coming out of this, the one a single Mac Mini and then just going right through to the front and going back in and, and part of the intake. Um, and so that, that's there for cooling and, and I think that's a nice idea. I'm going to be using this with two Mac Minis like I said before. I have one that's, that's acting as my uh, router or my firewall and uh, another, this one's going to be a VMware machine. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Uh, it looks like you can just kind of slide it in the front. And make sure you lift the one, the power lever out of the way. And it kind of just kind of slots in there. I guess you just kind of have to make sure that it's lined up. And then again, you kind of plug in the USB cord. I'll probably end up switching those so that it's, it's not as, it's quite as snug. I can plug this one into this side and then have the USB stick with VMware installed a bit on that one. Um, and then uh, all the ports and stuff are available still on the back of the unit. Now, when I put this back in, let's see, there's, there are two posts on either side here uh, that it slides in these notches. And then the whole thing kind of slides downward. Again, these levers that they use for the power button are are nice overall, but um, but they're kind of tricky to kind of get in there. Um, I mean, you're, they're constantly in the way when you're trying to work with it to kind of get in. And the cords, it looks like the USB cords kind of slot in underneath. Yeah, so that's kind of hold, holding that in there. Um, and then, yeah, once you have that in, um, then we can go ahead and put the screws back in to attach everything back. So, this is going to move out of the way a little bit. There we go. Okay, one side. And finally, we'll have to flip it over and do the last one on the bottom. Okay, that's that. Alright, so overall, well, that mini ain't going anywhere. <laughs> um, it looks like actually this case here is just the exact width. It doesn't actually you can't even pull the mini out this way because this would hold is uh, is shorter, and so the the case itself would get snagged there, and it would not it won't move. Um, and so yeah, and again, you have the power thing, you have the couple, you have full access to the ports and back. The venting's in a good location, so that that's gonna have good cooling. Um, and yeah, I, overall it's, it's pretty good. I I think if I had to give it a rating, I'd give it. Four out of five because it's really not all that. I mean, the, the power button things are a little bit of a pain in the butt to deal with, and the screws I had the side screw, um, but if I wasn't looking at the direction, I don't think I would have found the screw underneath uh, for the center bracket here. Um, so it's probably a good thing they include the instructions and stuff. Um, those are small uh, issues with it. I guess the only other issue I see with this is that it doesn't come with rails and so if you're looking for something where you want 
to be able to pull the Mini out and, and swap it out for, for a different model. This is going to be more of an issue. You're going to have to undo the screws, take the whole thing out, unplug both Minis, uh, and then you have a, set, a whole set of screws to, to uh, unhook everything and just to get back to the, to the Mac Mini that you're wanting to look at or to upgrade. So, um, so that's a drawback as well. But, but overall, it seems like it's built really well. The, the, the materials are pretty good on it. Um, the steel is pretty thick. I don't have any, uh, any, I don't see any issues with reliability over a long period of time. Uh, and and the, the, the padding, the strips, seems like it's really robust and it's, it's not, it's gonna kind of hold the mini in there really well. And it's probably pretty safe to run for a long period of time. So, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this this unboxing, please put the like button down below. If you have any questions about this, definitely feel free to ask them. I'll do my best to answer them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.